Nigel, back at Ashton Gate this weekend after a difficult day against Nottingham Forest last week. Mm. How important is it to get a positive result against Birmingham City? Uh, well, it's always important for us to, to try and win games, uh, certainly against a team that's um, in and around the same sort of position that we are. So, um, yeah, we've, we've, we came unstuck last week because yeah, we just had an off day all round, really. Um, they were better than us. We've, we, we had a sort of uh, similar type of performance when we played Birmingham at their place, um, even though we started the game very well. Um, yeah, we, we just need to get back to winning ways because um, it, it's very important we keep, keep our season moving in the right direction. 11 games to go. Mm. Um, the performance last week, how easy is it to set aside in the context of actually improved displays over the Yeah. Um, it was annoying and it was frustrating for the players themselves. I've been spoken to, to many of them really about how it felt on the day. Um, yeah, we've, we've had too many off days. Um, I'm not going to go into why I think it is. It's um, uh, we we just need to make sure that our performance is right at home. I think we've I think we've at least given our fans something to be positive about at home. Um, even the last game against uh, against Coventry, where <laughs> yeah we were um, we lost out on points late in the day, and it's um, yeah. But, but the performance was pretty good, really, and we need to get back to that type of a, yeah, that type of a feel on a match day at home. We have been affected going forwards in, yeah. in recent weeks, so obviously defensively we, we've struggled a bit. Yeah. From a, a training point of view, how do you apportion the time between working on defence, working on attack, or is it not that black well, and white? you can black combine it. You can combine it, and that's what we try and do. Um, yeah, we've we continue to make errors, um, whether they be individual or, or collective. But uh, I think really for us, um, yeah, the, the team needs to invest time in us being harder to beat. You know, all of us do. Um, and if that is the case, then we have a better chance of being more difficult to beat. Unfortunately for us, last week, for instance where we've been quite potent in terms of going forward. We found it difficult to even uh, create opportunities. So, yeah, last week was an off day for us. Um, so it's about getting back to uh, trying to play aggressive football, um, both going forward and defending. When you say aggressive, what yeah. do you mean by that? Do you mean that kind of gritty, gnarled thing, or is it being better in terms of protecting the ball, in terms of pressing All them? of it. All of it. It needs to be. We need to to play at a good tempo. I think we're always at our best when we do that, um, and we need to be tenacious when we don't have the ball. Um, whether that be individual or collectively, it, it really does. Uh, for, for the most part, it starts up top. For I mean, we are when we are at our best, we're pressing really well from the front, and consequently, we 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 create chances from defensive positions because of that. Um, so yeah, it was hard last week to do that. We weren't able to do that. Um, so this week it's about trying to, yeah, get back to uh, how the formula in which we've found at home, in particular, where where we've played well and won games. Someone who's evidently tenacious is Matty James. Yeah, he was came out last week. How important is it to have his experience, his quality, back back in the squad? It's it's really good to have him available. Um, I don't think him and Joe have played together. Um, it's going to be important in in the final 10, 11 games that we've got um, to have more players to to choose from. You know, we've had a bit of a frustrating time with players not being available through injury, but um, providing that we we finished the season with a relatively strong squad. I think that uh, our, I think our results will improve, and it's good to have somebody available with Matty's experience. Really, 
think something for Thomas Carlos to come off a pitch. Um, <laughs> yeah. And obviously you, you played the last 10 minutes without, yeah. without him last. How is he? Is he back to kind of sort of the... Yeah, he's back to his mad self. <laughs> he's, he's back training and uh, he's okay. It was just a really heavy knock and uh, Thomas doesn't enjoy coming off the field. Let's put it like that. But uh, yeah, he's a, he's a, <laughs> he's a very likeable lad actually. Um, in his own way, and uh, he, he's a competitor, so he will uh, he enjoys the challenge of the game, um, and uh, yeah, I think all our defenders are uh, hurting that we're not keeping clean sheets. And um, but if Thomas is available and selected, then I know what I'll get from him. I've seen George Tanner back out training, yeah. doing some warm ups. Um, how close is he to return at? And yeah. Rob Atkinson, what's the situation? With well, both? Rob, Rob's a lot closer than uh, George. Rob's been out there training fully this week. Looks a lot better than he has done for a long time. So uh, hopefully he'll be involved in the in the squads very shortly. Maybe even Saturday. Uh, George is still, yeah, uh, away, uh, quite away from being available for the team. Although he's making good, really good progress, and he looks pretty fit. But um, you know that's uh, he's had a reoccurrence of a hamstring injury, so we've got to be very mindful of of when he's reintroduced. Thank you, Wells and Tommy Conway, both on the score sheet within the 23s in, in midweek. Yeah, good for them to get game time, score, keep themselves because <coughs> you, you know they they may be required throughout these final eleven games. Yeah, I mean it's always difficult, I think, for players, especially somebody with Naki's experience. Um, to keep themselves psychologically in the right place to perform. You know, Naki's not had the number of opportunities that, that he would like, but his attitude's been first class. I mean, um, he wanted to play for the 23s and he always applies himself very well too. He enjoys scoring goals, so he, it was an opportunity for him to, to get out and play and keep himself in good condition. Um, and yeah, his his application was was first rate. And for somebody like Tommy, um, who's had a bit of a, a mixed bag this season in terms of being out with an injury for a while, um, he's back in and around the the first team squad, um, and he'll get his chances at some point. So they're they're at different ends of their careers, if you like, or towards the ends, uh, opposite ends of the career. But um, they both go about it go about it the right way. They, they, they want to keep um, themselves ready for opportunities. And is that part of being a professional, whether you're a seasoned pro like Naki or a, mm. a young up and coming buck like Tommy Conway? You've got to be, you've got to go to places like, you know, the stadium next to Cardiff to, to play yeah. for the 23s. Well, I mean, look, it, everybody's different, but if you don't have that personal motivation, then when you experience setbacks, it's a lot harder. And <laughs> believe me, every single player will get their setbacks at some point in their career. How they manage that, how they manage through the disappointment of either not being selected or um, being injured and unavailable, they're, they're different things, but it, it takes, it takes um, quite a bit of uh, real, yeah, positive sort of application to come through those types of periods. And for somebody like Naki who's always played, this season will have been really tough for him. Um, but like I say, I can't, uh, I can't fault how he's uh, supported his teammates and how he still approaches um, his own career and he wants to be successful. So yeah, it's good to have somebody like him of his quality ready to, to, to step in. And a final word on Saturday, I think Birmingham City will obviously bring a, a good crowd. We'll have a good yeah. crowad, possibly up beyond 20,000. Um, you've talked about the fans being encouraged by how we've wanted to play and how we've Well, I hope so, play. yeah. <laughs> They'll be key on Saturday, but also we need to give them something. Yeah, look, it's always, it's always about us trying to lift the fans, I think. Um, they've played their part hugely this season. And... Um, what we're trying to do is create a side here 
which um, gives people a bit of hope, not just for this season, but beyond it. Um, but yeah, we, it's important we play with a lot of commitment and uh, that we play whenever we can good football.